Hey, I'm Todd with Trouble Painting. Today we're gonna to talk about how to know when it's time to repaint or restain your solid stained home. If you're unsure, stick with us. We'll give you some things to look for. Okay, today we're on a cedar-sided home, clapboard siding that's been painted. So one of the big differences between paint and solid stain is that solid stains generally don't peel. Paint tends to peel more. Stain is meant to absorb in. Paint is meant to bond to the surface. So uh, those are the two big differences. Today we're looking at a painted home and you can see that we're starting to get some peeling down to bare wood. And this would be an indication that you know it may be time to call your painter and have have them come take a look at your house and let you know, is it time for another paint job? Another thing we have going on in this area is we have some gaps. And these could be where two boards meet, two clapboards, or you could have this type of thing between trim and the clapboard or the siding. This home also has some rotten wood, so some areas of damage that need to be replaced. Now, any one of these things could be an indication that it's time for another paint job but won't necessarily mean that the whole house needs to be painted so a lot of clients assume they can only paint the whole house uh, all at once but I always recommend to have your painter come out meet with you take a look at the home maybe it's just areas that need to be touched up if you are able to touch areas up as they start to peel that can defer a whole house paint job for a long time so many times I find people wait too long. This home is kind of at a perfect stage. It has a little bit of peeling, but they haven't let it go for five years past when they initially saw some peeling. So that's a good time to get at it. Many times if you wait too long, there'll be so much peeling that your investment to repaint your home is gonna be uh, quite a bit larger than if you got it right when it started. So you start to see things like caulk, peeling, rotten wood, Get your painter out there, get an assessment done to see if it's time for your next paint job. All right, here we are on a solid stain home. This has a solid acrylic stain on it. It's about to be restained by the crew. Um, similar to a paint job, things to look for are peeling paint, which can occur with solid stain but not as often we have just a little bit on the trim but more likely what you are going to see is areas on of unevenness or areas that start to look dry um, you can see some of these spots here where it really looks uneven and that's usually the first indication of needing uh, a, a new stain job if you have solid stain on your home but also you might have areas that need caulking Again, areas of peeling stain, less likely, but really it's this uneven and dry look that we start to look for, specifically on your south and west sides where the sun really takes its toll on the, the wood and the solid acrylic stain. So if you're thinking about restaining your house, you're wondering if it's time, these are things to look for. Dryness, unevenness, splotchiness, first indication, potentially some peeling stain, and, and again, areas that might need caulking or areas where caulking is starting to fail. So I hope you found our video on when to paint or stain your solid stain home helpful. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe and like. It helps other people find our videos. And just to recap, remember, if you have peeling paint or gaps that need caulking or rotten wood, that's a good indication that it might be time for your next paint job or solid stain. Solid stain, you're going to have less peeling, but it's going to be more uneven and dry. So thanks again for watching. If you'd like other videos about painting or solid stain, you can find those on our channel. Thanks again.